Love them or hate them, book clubs are a strong force in the publishing industry, accounting for huge numbers of sales for the books that are selected. You've likely heard of literary, upmarket, and commercial fiction, but what the heck is book club fiction exactly? Is it a genre in and of itself? For my new viewers, this is my weekly Ask Alyssa Anything session where I drop into the comments and answer your questions about your writing and publishing journey to get you one step closer to seeing your book on the shelf. Today, I am demystifying what book club fiction is, and this is a personal expertise area of mine since I used to work at an imprint of Penguin Random House that specialized in this exact type of book. And fun fact, when I was in that role, I wrote some of the book club discussion questions that you see in the back of a book for several best-selling novels. So here's the question today. Alyssa, I've been following you for the last few years since I've decided to seriously pursue writing. Thank you so much for sticking with me and my channel for that long. It really means a lot to me. I have finished two manuscripts and each have gone through a number of revisions, though neither have gotten many positive responses. My question deals with the genre, specifically book club fiction. I've seen a number of videos on contemporary, literary, and upmarket fiction, their similarities and differences, etc., but nothing on book club fiction. What is it exactly? I've seen it grouped with women's fiction and summer reads, but is that all it is? How can I tell if my manuscript is suitable for book club fiction? Thanks for the information. When you're querying, you might see book club fiction listed as one of the genres that an agent is interested in. I know it is one of the categories you can select on Query Tracker, for instance. But what this category entails is a bit nebulous. So let's break it down and try to nail as specific a definition as we can. Obviously, book club fiction describes novels that will appeal to book club groups. But what exactly does that mean and look like? What qualities does this type of novel have? Book club fiction could encompass books that fall into other genres as well, including literary fiction, women's fiction, thrillers, romance, historical fiction. I have another video that breaks down literary versus upmarket versus commercial fiction if those terms are confusing. I will link that in the description. So book club fiction isn't necessarily its own genre, but rather a way to describe books that fall into these other more standard genre classifications. And typically a few distinct qualities will set book club books apart. These include readability, powerful themes, complex characters, unique insight, or unexpected or ambiguous endings. Honestly, the best way to get a sense of what book club fiction is, is to look at the recent picks from the country's most prominent book clubs, including Reese's Book Club, Read with Jenna, and Oprah's Book Club. If you're browsing at a bookstore, books that have been selected for these clubs will often have a sticker on the front cover. In all of these lists, you're likely going to find books that fall into different genres, including historical fiction or suspense. But ultimately, what they all have in common is that when a reader finishes the book, they have this experience of needing to discuss it with someone else who's also read it. We all know that feeling. That's really what book club fiction is pointing to. Let's go through some questions you can ask yourself to determine if your novel might classify as book club fiction. Does it appeal to a wide reader base? When picking a book for a book club, you have to accommodate a variety of different reader preferences, so having a wide appeal is a key quality. Does it explore complex themes that inspire discussion? Do the characters encounter moral or ethical dilemmas? Does it shed light on a little known topic, setting, or experience? And finally, does it leave the reader thinking after they finish the final page? Hopefully that framework helps you determine if your book falls under book club fiction. If you have a question you'd like to ask, drop me a comment here and it will be added to my queue for my next Q&A session. Before you head out, I have a free resource for anyone who has a work in progress. It's called my Story Self Assessment Worksheet. It's an easy quiz I designed to help you see your book in a new light and identify the areas you can strengthen to take it to the next level. Downloading that is also going to opt you into my newsletter, Chapter Break, where I'm doing exclusive interviews with literary agents and best-selling authors, 
talking all about the publishing industry and everything you need to know to navigate it. If you want to go straight to check out the newsletter, the link is also in the description. Before you head out, if you are liking these Q and A's, give me a thumbs up to let me know. And don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on my next one. Thanks so much for watching and happy writing.